What's up, JFusion fans, and welcome to another Idol Talk video. Now, if you have been watching the past few episodes of Idol Talk, I have been uh, posting about AKB 48's 56th single, Sustainable, and someone upstairs is doing some work. So, anyway, let's ignore that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, from the day I ordered the CDs until they arrived and I even did an unboxing so about a couple of days ago uh, October 20 2019 so the big day finally came and the the reason for this is because I got tickets for that event uh, it was actually the reason why I ordered the CDs in the first place because of the tickets so anyway uh, this is kind of uh, the report of what happened that day. So here it is, the report for AKB48 56th single sustainable handshake event in Aichi. So the event took place in uh, Aichi Sky Expo, which is uh, actually right across the Chubu International Airport. So uh traveling there wasn't so much of a hassle uh, but i needed to get there early because uh, my first session starts at 9 a.m exactly when the event as a whole starts so the event started at 9 a.m and the very first member that i met was manaka taguchi of akb48 and the uh, I actually prepared like a lot just to meet her and if you noticed uh, I did get a haircut and probably at this in this video uh, you may not see but I actually kind of colored my hair lighter it's going to be a lot more visible in brighter situation but uh, uh, sorry about that uh, it's uh, <laughs> Uh, this should have to do for now but yeah I actually kind of colored my hair I actually needed to buy a red hoodie that I can wear under my business suit so I could look like Aruto Hiden and the reason for that is Manaka is actually a huge Kamen Rider fan and uh, on social media I kind of talked to her a lot about Kamen Rider stuff so, uh, I also wanted to wear the Zero One Driver, uh, but uh, it, it wasn't allowed, so uh, scratch that idea. <laughs> and uh, I actually wanted to do an Aruto Janaito pose with her, but uh, things kind of didn't go as planned. So, what exactly happened and why am I saying this? So... The event I applied for actually had a two-shot. So when you fall in line for a specific member, so like Manaka, for example, before you actually reach her, uh, there is a desk with two staff members waiting. And you will have to present your tickets first uh, with a valid ID just uh, so they can be sure that it's you. And then the second staff member has a tablet in front of him and there are four buttons that you have to press on that tablet so you actually only get the two shot if you actually get it on well not necessarily the first try but when you actually get it so if you miss you only get a normal handshake so uh at least the uh, uh, I actually learned this from a friend that I met on the venue that uh, the more tickets you have, the more chances you get of winning. So this friend, by the way, uh, I, I have known him uh, from an international fan group on Facebook, but uh, like last Sunday was actually the first time that we met in person. So we uh, actually talked about it. So he told me about it because it was my first time in such event. So yeah, 
uh, we only did normal handshake and we even kind of tried to talk about uh, Kamen Rider. Actually, more of like I actually tried to show her that I dressed like uh, Aruto as close as possible. I know it's, it wasn't a perfect uh, uh, cosplay if you would consider that a cosplay, but yeah, I tried to, <laughs> you know, get as close like uh, again the, the hair, the hoodie and wearing the suit over the hoodie so yeah that's uh, uh all the preparation i did for her specifically and uh, after that i went to several other members of course so after manaka i went to meet two members of hkt48 uh ayaka oda and mio tomonaga now these two members uh, specifically i have actually met before and they are in fact the only members uh, on that day that i have met prior so mio i have met her for the first time in 2015 actually and it was actually my first uh, hkt48 handshake event in my first handshake event in general so uh like after four years, uh, she has matured so much because back then she was kind, of, still kind of like a baby. Uh, like uh, she had this uh, youthful aura, but now she's kind of matured. So actually, like she has matured so much within these past uh, four years. So uh, it was nice seeing her again. And the uh, Ayaka, I actually met her last year at the HKT48 two-shot event so uh, that one I actually posted on uh, JE Fusion before so it was really nice seeing uh, her again uh, it was seeing it was nice seeing both of them again actually now the rest of the members that I've met uh, including Manaka actually uh, all of them are uh, first time members for me like the first time I met so after uh, Ayaka and me I believe I met a couple more uh, HKT members uh, well uh, actually three more so uh, I met uh, Amane Tsukiyashi uh, Aki Toyonaga and Moeka Sakai now Moeka was the only one that I was able to take a picture with so out of all 12 tickets that I had for that day only one made through and that was for Moika well so while the entire event was honestly disappointing I wouldn't say that it was a total waste either because it was nice meeting uh, these members for the first time and I met two members that I've met before so it was not really nice seeing them again to be completely honest so uh, yeah so I guess uh, it's only Moika that I would be posting uh, in the article so uh, yeah uh, whatever so <laughs> sorry guys I uh, you know, when, you, when you're a victim of random number generators. <laughs> anyway, it, it, it was kind of frustrating to be completely honest with you guys. But again, uh, it was still okay. So after Moeka, uh, all the members, uh, I met two more members. Uh, they're actually from STU48. So one of them is uh, Kokoa Kai. Now, I... Like most of the members that I had met that day, I w wasn't able to get lucky to have a picture with her. But I did get this fan from a fan club. <laughs> get it? <laughs> fan club. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, there is actually a an area outside of the uh, event hall where fans can... Uh, there are certain fan groups uh, allowed by the management and the staff to uh, collect messages for uh, members. So one of the members that I left messages for is 
cocoa. And in return, they gave me this as thanks, which is pr pretty nice. So I didn't get a two shot with her, so I, I got this instead. But she was really adorable. So the last member that I met that day was Mitsuki Imamura, also from STU48. And now this is where the random number generator really got me pissed off, to be completely honest here. So there was this guy, okay, so he was exactly the guy who st stood in front of me, like, uh, well, he was in front of the line, of course. Now, he had one single ticket, and that ticket went through. I, who had two tickets, did not get so lucky. So, you know, like, there's some little part of me that I wanted to. But anyway, uh, that's just how luck works. And, well, not everybody gets lucky, I guess. So, meh. But, again, uh, like I said, it wasn't a total waste uh, me meeting all those members anyway. Because usually when I go to these kind of events like they're only for a single group like all the events that i have featured in this uh, series so far uh, even before uh, we started this youtube channel i have been posting uh idol events and all of them are like just for a certain group like if it's like an akb48 uh it's only akb48 if it's only SKE48, only SKE48, and all of the other sister groups that I have featured, like, they are only uh, separate from one another. And this is the first time that I've actually went to a handshake event where all of AKB48 sister groups have come together. Uh, of course, there's AKB48 because uh, Manakatoguchi is from AKB, so there's that. And uh, because of that, they need to use a very huge area. Uh, like the if the venue was Aichi Sky Expo was in uh, that was in front of uh, the Jubu International Airport. So they actually used uh, two event halls, and all like combined, it's really huge. So. It, I guess it was the first time for me to, uh, you know, to have been in such a big place, to be in such such a big, big venue for an uh, event. But uh, yeah, in, in order to fit uh, all those members and all of their fans, I'd say like uh, there have been thousands and thousands of fans who went there that day. And... Uh, it was fun. Uh, I actually even met a couple of new friends. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, there was a friend that I met in uh, a Facebook fan club. And then we personally met each other for the first time uh, after, what, like a couple of years uh, since we became friends on Facebook. And then he had another friend coming and we got introduced so i uh, i also met a new friend well he, uh, both of them uh, actually were from the same fan club so we we were all in the same fan club and meeting them was nice and uh like also inter interacting with uh, other fans from other groups N not this kind of fan of course like fans like me uh, <laughs> and uh, getting freebies from uh, them was nice. So this was the best freebie, freebie that I got. Uh, the other one gave me like sugar cookies. So <laughs> it was nice of them to, you know, offer something back to the fans. So uh, it really uh, was nice uh, showing, you know, like a, some sort of appreciation, not only for the members of uh, these groups, not not only for the idols, but also to your fellow fans, like, uh, 
uh, it was really an amazing experience overall despite the fact that I was still disappointed and honestly uh, kind of frustrated that I did not get most of my tickets through you know uh, I really I really had well not technically the worst luck but I had really bad luck that day but again uh, when uh, going home I still felt satisfied you know there is still some satisfaction uh, to be had there uh, again like uh, STU for example uh, I've never heard of any event from them uh, coming to uh, Aichi like as STU48 alone but you know having this opportunity to meet STU48 members for the first time uh, it was it was really exciting so anyways uh, that's my uh, report on AKB48's 56th single sustainable handshake event uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching uh, please do leave a like comment and subscribe and don't forget that notification bell so you get the latest from JE Fusion this has been Philip and I'll see you on the next Idol Talk and hopefully uh, the next event uh, would go better. <laughs> so thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you again. Bye!